Hi, The Ranch. Hey, Adam, it's Charlie. Charlie Robinson, how you doing, my friend? Good, man, how are you? Pretty good, sir. Now, you got a big show going on tonight here in Billy Bob's, right? Yes, sir. Now, now i got to ask you this. I, I think, God, I don't think I've seen you in, in almost over a year now, right? Uh, that, that's, that's probably about right. Adam, so you missed him at Ranch Bash. I did. This past Ranch Bash, which was absolutely insane, right behind the, the famous jet building here yeah. in Sundance Square. Charlie Robson got uh, got Ranch Mike over on the other side talking with us as well. Cool, man. What's going on, bud? Hey, Charlie, it's good to talk with you, buddy. You too. Now, tell us about your big show here at uh, here at Billy Bob's tonight. Now, uh, you come out here and rock every so often. What's it like to play a big, uh, prestigious place like Billy Bob's? I mean, I always love playing Billy Bob's. It's like that's one of my favorite places. Just the the, the people who run it and the crowds are always just such great crowds. They're, they're, if, you know, for such a big place, it's one of the few places that's that big where you can play kind of, you know, you can play some of your acoustic music and then you can just rock out as much as you want to. So it's uh, it's it's always a blast. Billy Bob's is, it is what it is. And everybody always says, oh, it's great to play Billy Bob's. Is this one of the shows that when you look at your schedule, you go, that's the date I'm looking for. Like, I am so looking forward to just blowing that the doors off that place. Yeah, there's not many places that are that are set up, you know, that that, that cool where it's, you know, that big of a place where the sound's that good, where... You know, the, the the crowd is right up front. You know, it's, it's always a blast. Two years ago, I, actually a year and a half ago now, you and I both played the uh, Reckless Kelly Celebrity Softball Jam, and you yep. uh, you played third base That's for Will right. Braun's team. Now, so that means you're 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 really athletic or, or somewhat athletic. They ever try to get you to ride a bull out there at Billy Bob's? <laughs> I've, uh, I've 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 done, I, I used to do that in high school. I played <laughs> I played college baseball and college football at Southwest Texas, so. Yeah, I, I had some uh, some past uh, athletic stuff, but uh, <laughs> I was always a uh, you know I'm six four, so that's that's not the optimum hi- optimum height for a, for a bull rider. I don't know why I picture you like sitting on the bull, flat footed, with like a bull underneath <laughs> you, going, "Well, this is a waste of time." Yeah, I could pretty much you know kind of just like you know, like run you know with just along with you know with him. You and your brother are both tall. Do you, do you guys ever uh, uh, you know do a little one on one or have any athletic events and you out uh, outshine your brother a little bit? We go. Well, we go back and forth. Bruce played Bruce played college basketball, and oh, wow. you know, I, and so we both played college sports. So uh, we're you know we're about fifty fifty. We go but we go back and forth, and and you know one of us always makes an excuse of uh, why the why we why we lost, of course, and and uh, we play a lot of golf, and and uh, but uh, yeah, just get out and do whatever we can whenever we have a chance. Here's my idea that I really want to try to get to get going. I want to get like all the short guys out there, like like Kyle Park, Stony Larue, Blue Edmondson, up against like really tall guys like you and Bruce and uh, I don't know like Drew Kennedy, who are all like six five plus, and have an athletic contest between the short guys and the tall guys. You got to get Randy Rogers on the short. Yeah, team. Randy will be on the short team. Wade, Wade will be on the short team. I have to. I have to say that about Randy. I'll, I always give Randy. Uh, uh, let me see what's the right word. I crud about uh, <laughs> about, his, about his height we always mess with each other on stage whenever we're uh, playing a two-three shows so yeah we need to have like an intermediate height league because i don't really fall under the short man size but i'm not like six five either so we need like six foot it right in the middle <laughs> size league I, I, you know the, the the nba had spud webb you know i mean there's, there's Slam around dunk champion. Spud Webb's not a goofy white guy like myself, so. <laughs> no, you put out your, your record last year, had Beautiful Day, which I, I got to tell you, man, was one of the best albums that I've ever heard in my entire life. Oh, uh, man, thank you a lot. Of course, you had a lot of things going on at the time you were making that record. Uh, have you got anything else you're working on right now? Actually, uh, Bruce and I are fixing to go in the studio and make our first uh, Studio Brothers record together, wow. so I'm looking forward to that. And then right on the heels of that, I'm, I'm writing for my new record, so I'll have the brothers record and then right after that i'll have i'll have my record coming out so uh yeah that's, i'm doing a lot of stuff right now what are you using as inspiration for this uh for these next two records um the one with with bruce and i we're probably going to do we'll probably write a few songs together but we're probably going to do a lot of uh you know him and i over the years we've had these favorite covers that we've always done on stage together you know and, yeah. and we've always wanted to kind of put them down you know studio wise so we'll do a lot of that and uh but you know it's with the with the new record that i'm writing right now I'm I'm kind of back, you know, where it's like, you know, the divorce, all that kind of stuff is history now. So I'm kind of back right and just kind of about, you know, goofy stuff and all the all the all the the stuff I used to write about. So it's, it feels good doing that. So basically, you're just planning world domination um, with you and Bruce putting an album out, and then you're going to come behind it and just sweep up the the rest of it and just take over the world, basically. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, that's that's exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> now, do, do you ever get a call like Bruce does, like, uh, "Hey, um, George Strait wants to wants to cut your song." You ever get anybody like that say, like, "Hey, uh, such and such wants to cut your song," and and if somebody did call and say, "Hey, George Strait wants to do my hometown," what would you he, say? He wanted to do Bar Light for a long time, but Bar Light kind of, you know, when it, whenever I put Life of the Party out, that it kind of got so big in radio in Texas and like, you know, the the kind of the South, that he was just like, "Well, you know, I can't do it now because it was, you know, already, you know, like one of the you know real big songs in Texas." So what would kind of be the point? So I was kind of torn between, you know, it's like, ah, whether or not you know Straight would have done it or I would have done it. So. Uh, but when he's you know, sitting around the campfire, he plays Loving County and stuff like that. So that's that's uh, that's all great enough, you know. A lot of people don't know. I'm lucky enough to. Uh, every Labor Day weekend, you play a couple concerts down at Green Hall. Yeah. And this year, I went a couple years ago. My wife and I started a, uh, a, a kind of a ritual. We'd go every Labor Day. We took a couple years off to have a kiddo. And we're starting that back up again this Labor Day. So Labor Day weekend, I will be making the trip down to Green Hall to see you uh, throw down out there. Yeah, it's, it's that's that's always a blast. I look forward to doing that every year. That, that, that those those two nights at Green, uh, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. Last year was crazy because we played, we came up here and played, you know, Red Dirt during the you know the first day, and then we had to go back down to Green and play, and then we went and played a, a tailgate for UT the next day, and then had to go back to Green. So we played. I think we played in those two days. Played like four shows. Or no, 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 it was like five or six shows. Wow! In, wow. in those two days, so. Um, yeah, it was it was fun, but we were uh, we were worn out once Labor Day was over. With. I just want you sure. to know how excited Adam got when you mentioned about playing a UT uh, oh, tailgate yeah. party. Oh, let me tell you, <laughs> like a kid at Christmas, <laughs> kid at it's Christmas with fun. the horns down and everything, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, Charlie, man, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. I, I wish we could make it out there, but we'll be stuck here behind the radio. Uh, in the meantime, though, we will throw in some good Charlie Robinson for you. Nice, you write it, we'll play it. Sounds good there to me. You go.